Hello all, uh, congrats on the win. I guess I wanna start first with, with Sandy. Sabrina was so close to a triple-double tonight. She was one assist away. What did you make of her decision-making, especially on a night where, where maybe Courtney struggled a little bit? Oh, wonderful. <laughs> That's what I made of it. Um, I thought that was one of the, the best games Sabrina's uh, played for us this year at both ends of the floor. So I'm not just talking about her assist, but I thought her defence was she was really locked in. Um, you know, and things were going for us. She, we put the ball back in her hands a little bit more and, you know, she's she's like Sloot. She's got great vision. She sees things happen before they happen. I I really like the balance of being aggressive and, and, and making sure that she was facilitating. I appreciate that. Also, I'm curious if you can share with us sort of what went into your thought process when it came to the rotations in the first half um, and then also in the second half as well. I'm not sure. I just went with what I saw. So I rotated some players in and um, obviously just try to limit Slutie's minutes a little bit. Um, yeah, I thought the bench came in and gave us some good energy. And uh, for for JJ, I'm, I'm curious um, what felt different tonight versus how it felt playing against the Wings? Um, I mean, just playing aggressively, obviously. Um, not overthinking the game. I think that's been like my biggest downfall this entire uh, season so far has just been overthinking and just, you know, just being in my head, honestly. Um, so I think that's the biggest thing. I appreciate that. And finally, Stewie, what do you think this team did tonight to make sure that the Mystics didn't get the lead back? They came very close. I think they were as close as three points, but I believe it was something where, you know, you guys had the lead throughout um, yeah, I, I can answer. Um, yes. I think that what we did was we stayed together. You know, mm -hmm. there's there's always going to be things that happen over the course of the game. Um, they have players that, you know, definitely have something to prove and continue to work hard, and they're a dangerous team. But, you know, even when they went small, we, we worked through it, and we had one another's backs, and um, that resulted in the win. Thank you all. Appreciate Miles. it. Hi, Sandy. Um, John Quell had 13 and 7 in the first quarter alone tonight, setting the offense with some offensive putbacks, a couple of three point looks. With all the extra pressure that Washington brought to the perimeter, she had some more room to operate inside. But how were you able to get her so involved today? And how does that just open up the court for the rest of the players on the court? Yeah, I think, you know, I think that was more JJ's mentality too. She was just really getting strong into the rim. She was hitting the offensive boards. She was a big target down there. And um, we always want to, I keep saying, if she's open, we have to give her the ball. And she made that early three. I think she had a lot, a, a lot of different looks for us. Um, you know, and it was good. It was fun for me to see her to go out there and, and just dominate and, and so have such an efficient game. And, um, and like I said, she, she said it. I think she has been overthinking it a little bit. And, um, but, um, you know, every game is different. Um, and, you know, we got better from last game, but uh, we needed every bit of her 27 and 11 tonight. And JJ, just to follow up on that, as a team, you guys were dominant on the class tonight, won the rebounding battle 48 to 28. Three players, you, Stewie, and Sab, all finished with double digit uh, rebounds. And like Sandy just said, season high 27 points and uh, season high five offensive boards. So what adjustments were you able to make after a disappointing rebounding effort just two nights ago as a team to turn this around so drastically? Yeah, I think it's just responding, responding to, you know, Sandy and the coaching staff challenging us. Um, you know, looking looking in the mirror and knowing what you can do better. Um, and I think rebounding is something that I can bring to the team and something that the team really needs and something that I've kind of not been doing really well this season. So I really wanted to come in and have that mindset, especially after watching the last game over and taking the time to look at the film. Thank you. And Brianna, after that slow start there, it looked like there was a commitment to pushing for easy buckets, pushing in transition. And the team was incredibly opportunistic in the open court doubling up Washington 14 to seven on fast break points. And it feels like half of Sab's assists tonight were finding you slicing to mm -hmm. the rim and transition. So what makes that pair, you and Sabrina, so dynamic off of misses and turnovers? Yeah, I think, you know, when Sab gets the ball um, and to, to just really run and uh, whether I get it or not, but but drag the defense through the paint and bring them out to the to the three point line. But 
especially when when they went small, they struggled with the guard to guard uh, matchup in transition, and and if it wasn't a layup, it was going to be something else on the backside. Thanks so much. Safe trip home, Jeff. Good evening, all. Congratulations on the win. Uh, Coach, my first question is for you. I know better by now than to ask what you said to the team during a crucial timeout, particularly when it was 10-2 in the first quarter. But at the same time, I wanted to ask about the benches performance tonight, particularly the performance of Marie Johannes and Jocelyn Willoughby. Each was a plus eight in the first half as you guys built that early lead. And Marine posted the season best six rebounds tonight. So I know her scoring touch isn't where she wants it to be just yet, but what can a night like that an aggressive night for Marine Johannes do for her moving forward? Yeah, look, I think Marine is, we've said it all season long that she's in, in it. They're all important part, but she's like a, another spark off the bench for us. Um, and, you know, she created things. So I, I like that she was being more aggressive. You know, we want her to shoot when she's open and get in those pick and roll actions. Um, and then, you know, just see what you got. But I, I was happy with her rebounding. I think, you know, get six rebounds, that certainly helped us. And, uh, you know, covered some of the areas that we had there. So I just think her athleticism um, was good. But I think she looked more comfortable tonight. So hopefully we can keep building on that. Absolutely. Uh, John Quill, my next question is for you. Um, from the def- uh, Of course, you'll get noted for your offensive performance tonight. But defensively, it was certainly improvement. Only two turnovers on Wednesday, but tonight up to 10. Not exactly where you want it, but at the same time, what changed in the defensive game plan tonight that allowed you guys to – take and keep a lead against a hungry mystics team i think just staying locked in i mean they they made runs and you know as all teams do in this league but Mm -hmm. just you know staying locked into the game plan trusting that your teammates gonna have your back if you rotate um yeah and just like i said being locked in from start to finish Final one for me. Uh, questions for Brianna. Um, obviously, it t- obviously it took a little bit through no fault of her own, of course, for John Paul to fully get in the swing of the game, trying to work off uh, work off some nagging injuries a little bit. So, from a player's perspective, what does a John Quell Jones at the height of her powers add to this team? Add to the chemistry you guys built in the first half of the season? Yeah, I mean JJ playing um, how we all know she can play adds everything to this team. Just the ability to to be even more dynamic. Um, when you have someone that this, as tall as she is, as versatile as she is, um, it makes everything else like open up. Um, and people have to play us honest. And then defensively, the way she's able to protect the, the rim, protect the paint, you know, even if she doesn't get the blocks, she's altering shots a lot. So um, no surprise to me, but happy to, to see it and, you know, really just continue to build with her. Of course. Appreciate your time and insights. Say Charles back to New York. Hey, congrats on the win. Uh, Coach, first one's for you. Midway through to the fourth quarter, it kind of seemed like uh, the lead was down to 9-3, to three, um, and you didn't call the timeout. So while coaching this great team, obviously with all these great players, how you kind of balance uh, letting the team fight through to get a victory opposed to calling the timeout to kind of control things when things are spiraling? Yeah, I mean, there's a time and place to be calling it. I mean, momentum was changing. I was just trying to take it out. Let's just regroup a little bit, refocus, and then get back and do what we need to do out there. But um, there was no panic or anything, and that's when you have a veteran team. They just, you know, focus on what we need to do. They'll be really aggressive. They'll get into the rim. They'll get into the foul line. So I was just tidying up a few areas. And um, But for the most part, you know, I think we stayed – we kept competing, even though we had a few mistakes. We kept comp- competing, and we stayed together. And we, now, now we need to keep building on it. Thank you. And this one's for the players. Um, all five starters, double digits tonight. Uh, what kind of clicked on the offensive end against a defensive-minded team like the Mystics? Um, I think just continuing to play together. I said it before, but um, we had movement. The ball was going back and forth, and we were finding the open person, um, whether it was the play that we had drawn up or one that we kind of just freestyled and created ourselves. Um, it's... You know, it's what we need is when we start the game, especially we want to make sure that we're setting the tone and, and we continue that throughout, but especially the start of the, the first half and start of the second. Thank you. Safe travels. Brian. Hi, everybody. Um, Sandy, my question for you is that um, in the first quarter, the team had eight turnovers, and then in the last three, ten combined. What do you think do, What do you think worked best for the group as they started to sort of figure out what Washington was doing on defense? Yeah, look, I don't think it was what Washington. They were blowing us up a little bit and we were just forcing passes that really weren't open. Um, 
and and that's you know that's why the three turnovers before I had that first time out and okay so it's been a bit of a you know a trend of ours lately and it's just like just slow down we don't need to make uh, touchdown passes every single possession and we talked about just moving the ball and finding the open man and you know back cutting when we need to so I was happy you know I'm not happy that we had how many 18 for the for the game but um you know the 10 for the over three quarters that that's acceptable and and we've got to keep continue to build on taking care of the ball anyway Thank you, um, John. Well, there were a few times tonight you would switch up on some players like Sykes and Cloud on the perimeter. Just how valuable is it for you as a defender to be able to sort of like lock down the paint and be able to handle switches when going up against elite, elite guards like the Mystics have? Yeah, just anything that the team needs me to do is what I, is what I want to do. Um, you know, early in the season, we kind of talked about, you know, me being able to switch and keep guards in front of me. Um, so, yeah, just, just playing defense, honestly, just that's it. What else to say? <laughs> All right, thank you. And Brianna, um, in the fourth quarter, the team really was able to withstand that big run from Washington. Uh, for, for throughout a lot of the season, teams have given you guys big runs in the fourth, but you've always been able to sort of like persist. What do you think that says about the group that you're always able to sort of like withstand big runs and finish out strong? I think it um, shows that we have experience. Um, that we we know what we need to get to, that we've been in these positions before, um, even before coming to to this team to have all five starters together. Um, but we continue to, to kind of fall back on what got us here and, and being confident in one another and um, knowing that runs are going to happen. And, you know, when it's our opportunity to kind of take the momentum back, then we do. Thank you, guys. Safe travels. We'll finish in the room. Um, for any or all of you, Touched on this a little bit, but what goals did you see in the Mystics defense tonight that you were able to exploit? Rebounding. What? Yeah, <laughs> rebounding. <laughs> yeah, that was a little bit smaller without obviously Austin and Deladon. Yeah. You know, the rebounding. Um, you know, they still compete. They blew us up a fair bit. Uh, we're just trying to move them more than anything to get a move and not have stationary because that's when they're most effective and uh, still getting penetration, trying to find overhaul. But, you know, they still competed very hard, but that, the biggest thing was rebounding. Yeah, look, she's a good little shooter. You know, Shatori, I enjoyed coaching her that one year in the bubble here. Um, she's uh, She really fits in with this team here with around these slashing guards. She can shoot the three extremely well as a catch and shoot, but she's it's just as good as just movement. And I think it's just the, m the more you play, the more confidence you get in your game. And, and I think that's what Sh Shatori do has done as a younger player, getting a little bit older with more e years under her belt. Great. Great. Thanks. Thanks.